Four ports today getting you ready for the next hurricane. If there's one thing a meteorologist knows when making a forecast, it is that no one is immune from the elements. Dothan, which is located two hours from the Gulf Coast, was one of dozens of communities hit by Hurricane Michael last year. CBS 42 Storm Team meteorologist Griffin Hardy was in Dothan during that storm. He made the trip back to recall what it was like riding out that storm. Of course, we are tracking Hurricane Michael, which has rapidly intensified overnight. It is now officially a major hurricane. A category the people of Dothan knew that they were in for a wild ride, and that included everyone at WDHN on the day of landfall, October 10th. We were on back to back coverage, what, for like 11 or 12 hours, was it? And then the power went out, and then we had to relocate uh, to the Civic Center. So I have been in charge of our news operation since April, and in October, we're facing storm of the century. Needless to say, I was terrified. I, I won't say it in front of a lot of folks, but I was, I was pretty, pretty petrified. It was here at the Dothan Civic Center that myself, along with everyone at WDHN, was forced to ride out the storm. Hurricane force winds forced us to evacuate the station during the height of the storm out of concerns of the tower on top of the building being knocked down. It actually moved six inches, is what I was told, during the course of the storm. And if that thing comes down, you know, we're right underneath it here, and it would have been would have been quite a mess. The extent of the damage became clear after Hurricane Michael cleared the area. Local Dothan resident Lane Miller is still dealing with storm damage even now, nine months later. A large oak tree that is in our front yard came through the house in the middle and it landed close to where we were in the kitchen area. Luckily, everybody was safe and nobody was injured, but uh, just did some extensive damage to our house. When disaster strikes, the people who live through it will often tell you that there's a silver lining to it all. People from Dothan took truckloads of food and they sat up on the side of the road and were cooking hamburgers and hot dogs and just handing it out. Bottled water, handing it out because these people had nothing. And everyone I spoke with on my trip back to Dothan all echoed the same sentiment. We're all in this together, and no matter how bad it may seem, we all have each other's backs. And that's something very important to keep in mind heading into this year's hurricane season. Reporting in studio, I'm Griffin Hardy, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.